Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Allendale, South Carolina, with another know-it-all frauditor who tends to lie his ass off at every chance he gets, even going to as far to say that he is the only reason why a police chief resigned earlier this year. Which, well, if you actually do your research, boy, you would know that's not the reason. And I will reiterate that here in a few minutes. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Well, he just stands here filming for the next several minutes, doing nothing but watching people come in and in and out. He finally decides to go into the post office and act like a total big shot in there. So let's go ahead and roll that beautiful bean footage. Five minutes later. Is Postmaster in today? You're what? I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm not familiar with that. What is that? Officer in charge. Officer in charge. All right. What was your name? Sherry. Sherry. Nice to meet you, Sherry. Nice My name's Johnny. Uh, how much is one stamp? Sixty-six cents. Sixty-six cents. Sixty-six. I thought it was sixty-five. No. It's oh boy. 66. Isn't it set to go up again pretty soon? Yes. Oh yes. boy. You know when? Um, I'm not quite sure when. I don't know the date. No. But I can look it up if you need it. We just need one stamp? Yes, ma'am. All right. That is it. Oh, boy. 35 cents. No, I appreciate it. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. You want your receipt? Um, yes, please, actually. That would right. be great. Now, Sherry, let me ask you a question. Are you familiar with your poster seven? The what? The poster seven. Poster seven? Yes, the poster seven. Um, no. You're not? Really? <laughs> well, maybe that's something you should look into. But usually, I get a quite, quite, a, quite a reaction you know, you are uh, not very good at your research, are you? Do you even read at all, dude? I'm just wondering because Poster 7 doesn't actually say what you think it says because if you actually read it, you would realize you need uh, permission from the local postmaster or the installation head or somebody in charge at least, which is this person right here. So you know you're effing up right now so which brings me to uh what i said earlier about you believing that you are the reason why a police chief resigned so let's go ahead and roll that beautiful bean footage from a video that uh i did of you a few weeks ago showing where well you again don't do the slightest bit of research on that. You were not the reason for him leaving. It was something else. Being that after he had filmed this particular video, the uh, police chief, Middleton, resigned, which I think he's trying to imply that he was the one that forced him to resign. Well, no. Uh, if you look up the story, which I will leave the link in the description box below, uh, Chief Middleton here was involved in several dis dem domestic disturbances, and, uh, well, it ended up leading to him resigning. It had nothing to do with this moron right here. Oh, once again, a frauditor has been proven to be an outright liar. So why don't you do yourself a favor and learn how to do your research at the very least before you post anything. That might be uh, beneficial to you. That way, you're not made out to be a, a complete jackass, moron, lying, scumbag, pig next time. When I come in here walking in with a phone, so... But, yes, you know, at, at, at least, about, you know. At, at least if you don't know, you didn't uh, overreact like I usually get. It's uh, that's that's a very good thing. It's a very good thing. But well, well, I'm doing my job. So I, well, I don't have any reason to overreact. You'd think not. You would think not. I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me I'm going to circle this. Um, circle this. Um, this 800 number down here. OK. Oh, okay, so you decided that you were going to 
stick around and cause trouble, huh? Yeah, typical fraud editor, getting uh, people upset and angry over clicks and views until you get arrested. Hey, just par for the course for these morons. How you doing? Hey, how you doing? I'm you gotta give permission to take pictures of me, man. No, I don't. Hey, what's wrong with this crazy guy in here? I have no idea. You can't be doing that. I don't know what he is doing. I'm gonna have to call somebody. I'm gonna have to Hey, you can't be doing that. You got enough of these craziness going on right here. Yeah, I don't know. I guess it's all about your boy. I don't know. Well, I guess, uh, A few moments later. Walk in here, cause a disturbance, and call me a crazy guy. What disturbance I got? Hmm? What disturbance I got? Hey, you're causing, you're coming in here raising your voice. It's my Over voice. a phone. It's my voice. Yeah. But you can't be just telling No, me absolutely I can. Absolutely I can. Yeah, oh, please. That's the problem with y'all now. And what do you mean y'all? I got right to freedom of speech. I can say what I want to say. Exactly. Well, this is part of it. Dude, the First Amendment doesn't grant you the right to be a total jackass in somebody's building. In fact, you can be trespassed from any damn building. And you will soon find that out when the police show up. So let's go ahead and skip ahead to the best part of this video, shall we? Eventually. There we go. That was quick. Hello. Hello. What's going on? I don't know. I'm a gentleman recording. He's recording people. I don't know. The best of this. How you doing? Some people don't know you're recording. Doesn't know if it's against the law or not, but she figured she'd call the police. Right. How brilliant. I don't understand. You got to let me know if you're recording. If I'm coming in a public place. <laughs> and do you hear this guy? <laughs> I didn't tell you, be spot, be spot. Go ahead, do something. Do something in front of this guy. Go ahead. I already have the first one on video, dude. So relax. Just focus on me. If you're in a public place, relax, buddy. You generally assume by the law to have consented to be recorded. So I don't have to tell you if my body camera's on. If you're in a public place, you can be recorded. Now, if there's an issue with the post office, okay, if there's a policy of the post office, you know, and you want them gone, and then you can ask them to leave. Really? Oh, frauditor, it is so damn funny that you call other people ignorant when you don't even bother to do the slightest bit of research or even reading for that matter. Because if you had actually uh, done any bit of research on South Carolina trespassing laws, well, you would find out that, yeah... You can be asked to leave a building, and you can be trespassed, and if you're not leaving, well, you can be arrested, you dumbass. This makes at least the third time in this video that I've shown that you don't do the slightest bit of research, dude. So before you call other people ignorant, you should really go ahead and take a little bit of time to look in a mirror and do a little bit of self-reflection before you do that. Because you are probably the uh, dumbest person in the room right now. You have asked them to leave. Do you have any legitimate business? Are you, are you transacting? I do have legitimate business here. Okay. I already did transact, yes. Okay, so now you're loitering. No. Yeah. No. No, nope, I'm here. I'm here collecting information for a story and to disseminate it to the public. Okay, well that's fine, but you got you got to do it outside. No, I don't. So, ma'am, have you asked him to leave yet? 
I asked him if he had any other business. He said no. Okay. So, so if you don't want him here, you need to ask him to leave. Can he leave, sir? Now I'm going to ask you a question. Do you think, do you, do you seriously believe the words that are coming out of your mouth right now? Now I'm going to ask you a question, Frauditor. Do you seriously believe the garbage that's coming out of your disgusting pie hole? Because, well, it's about to get you arrested here shortly, and I doubt that even a frivolous lawsuit is going to help you out in this scenario. Right, she's already asked you to leave. She's an employee of the post office. No, no, no. The, bo the box for the answer is about this big. That answer was about that big. I, it's a okay, yes or so no. Let me, let me put it to you. Do you believe way. the words that are coming out of your mouth leave. right now? Uh-huh. If you don't leave, it's trespass after notice. You're going to jail. Really? Yeah. And what's the, what's the first crime? What's the primary crime? She just told you to leave. No, what's the primary crime? Sorry. Oh, trespass. No, the primary crime. All right, so here's the deal. That's a secondary offense. Oh, we got a real YouTube law expert on our hands. That's a secondary offense. You're not going to be able to arrest me for that. Well, you know, you're full of shit, right? Because it's coming right out of your mouth and leaving a horrible stain on the floor over there. I mean, somebody's got to clean that up. You've That's got a secondary five offense. Seconds to leave. I want going to jail. Okay, I, before you speak another word, no, I want you no, to call your supervisor. No. I want to speak to your... Manager. Before you speak another, I'm the chief. The, so now, you're the chief. Yes. You're the you chief. Need to leave. You okay. Well, you call so, call leave. somebody else. You better call okay. somebody else. Call a judge. Five, call a judge. Four. Man, uh, come on now. Be a bit smarter than that. Do you think a judge actually has time to deal with your petty bullshit? Do you actually think a judge is gonna come out here and say, "Oh, don't arrest this guy because he's a First Amendment." Frauditor, you're even dumber than you look, boy, and you do look quite stupid. I mean, how did you make it this far in life? I'm just wondering. Three, two, one. You're under arrest. Anything you do other than what I tell you will be considered resisting arrest. Do you understand? No, you not, not really. I want okay. you to call your supervisor. Okay. Let's go I want you to call your supervisor. That's fine. You're under arrest. Go ahead and sit this down because I don't want to break it. Hands behind your back. There you go. Are you going to call your supervisor? Hello? And here's another example of your, uh, well, complete and utter ignorance of anything, dude. You used disrespect and indifference improperly, considering that the two are not exactly the same. I mean, indifference basically means marked by lack of interest, enthusiasm, or concern for something. In other words, apathetic. Oh, boy, you are a complete and total ignoramus trying to combine those two words together. Disrespect would basically mean that the person is not apathetic toward you in any way. It would mean they hate you or dislike you. So, dude, you have just proven once again that you are a complete moron. I honestly wonder how you haven't ended up uh, dying in some sort of freak accident that you caused. Because, well, you are just the type of person that would do that. But at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?